you don't have to have it all figured out. You really don't. Most of us tend to think a lot about the future when we're trying to do something, when we're trying to accomplish some goal, we create a plan, we do research, we look up what are the best steps in order to do X, Y, Z. And we feel good and empowered when we have a plan, when we have those steps. And it's good to plan, it's good to make goals, but more important than anything is your ability to take action. Overthinking puts you in a state of paralysis in some sense. It's really easy to say, hey, today I'm going to work on mathematics or I'm going to go study physics. And then you go and you look at your books and then you can't decide which book to use. You can't decide which chapter to read. And then you can't decide what you want to do at all. And so you don't do it. And so this process repeats. And then maybe at night you lay there in bed and you think, I really wish I was better at physics. Or I, wish, I really wish I was better at math. Or I really wish I was a faster runner. And then you overthink. You overplan. And the next day comes and you overthink again. And this is a common cycle. What this does is it creates stress. People think that stress comes from hard work. I do think hard work can create things that cause stress, but I think primarily, I think the primary driver of stress is that there is something that you know that you should be doing that you have some control over that you're not doing. In other words, inaction. You have the ability to do something but for some reason, you're not taking action. And that's causing you stress. It's just like the fictional story I, used, I just gave about studying math or physics. You know, you, you, you dream about it, you think you want to do it, but not doing it and thinking about it is causing you stress because you know you have to study for that test, right? You know you have to do well. Whenever you have those pressures in life and you know that to resolve those pressures, you have to take action, but you don't, that inaction leads to stress. That's why I think it's good to realize that you don't have to have it all figured out, right? You can just get started right now. Just right now, as soon as you close this video, what I want you to do is I want you to do something productive. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be mathematics, physics, go for a walk. Do something that's going to bring you just a little bit closer to your goals. It will make a difference in your day. You will feel rewarded after doing it. You will feel like, hey, today I had a good day. I, I did something good. I made one tiny little step. I don't have it all figured out, but I got started. Right? Getting started is key. Remember, you don't have to have it all figured out. Learning takes place along the way. You know, once you get started, even if you don't know all the steps, you kind of figure it out as you go. And I think that's a really good way to do it. Once you get started, that builds momentum. This is key. And if you are self-aware about this fact, it's going to help you in situations like the one I explained earlier where, you know, you're, you're trying to decide, you know, what book to use or what to study. When you realize that once you get started, you're going to build that momentum and it's going to be easier to keep going, that gets you to start because you realize that, hey, I just have to get myself to, to sit down and do it. And, and once I get started, once I get going, I'm going to be okay and I'm going to end up spending an hour doing math or physics. And that's how it works, right? And the reason we overthink and the reason we procrastinate is because, well, we want to make the best possible decisions and also, we're, we're, we're a little bit afraid of failure, right? You don't want to pick up a math book and say, oh, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to understand that one. So uh, pick it up anyways. Sit down anyways. Pick up your pen or pencil and try it anyway. Do it anyways, right? Learn as you go. You know, so what if you don't understand some of it? Sit down, tell yourself you're going to do it, and just do it. 
Don't over plan. Don't over plan. Planning is great. You know, I'm not a planner. I've ne I never have been a big planner, but planning is great. It works for some people. One of the big problems with planning is that it puts barriers on you, right? So if you tell yourself you're going to do X, Y, Z for X amount of time, or you're going to learn this today and this tomorrow and this the next day, you're kind of setting a limit on yourself. And I don't, I don't like setting limits on myself. I like to be able to push as hard as I want to push. But not everyone's wired that way. Some people like to have a plan, which, which is fine. The key point, though, is you don't have to have it all figured out, even if your plan isn't 100%. Even if you don't have a plan, jump in and do it. One of the things that happens to people when they think they don't have it all figured out and they feel like they can't take action because they don't know all the steps or they're worried they'll fail is that they never end up doing anything sometimes. And it's sad, right? A really simple exercise that you can do to help you take action when you're procrastinating is to think about the future. Try to imagine your life on the number line, like on a long enough timeline to so say this is when you're born and this is when, when, you, when you die. And so you're over here, right? So you're at the very end of your life. You're nearing the end of your life. And, you know, imagine looking back on the rest of your experiences. You know, are you, are you happy with your decisions? Do you have regrets? Is there anything that you wish you would have done? Well, when, when you look at your life that way and you look back and you look at those experiences and you think, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that, a lot of times what you'll find is that inaction was one of your biggest regrets. Like, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. A lot of times it's not the mistakes you made, it's the things that you didn't do. Right? I mean, maybe you did make some mistakes and that's really bad, but for many people, it's not the things they did, it's the things they didn't do. It's the things they wish they would have done. It's the life they wish they would have lived. And the, the reality is you can't go back in time. So it's not healthy to sit there and you know, reflect for hours because it does nothing for your current life. It's also not healthy to sit there and over plan the future and dream about it all day because that does nothing for your current life. Right? For, for the only thing that you can do that will actually affect your life now is to take action. It's kind of funny, right? Taking action is the one thing you can do right now, right? The present, that's all we have, right? The past is gone. The future has yet to arrive. We, we live in the present. The present is the time to act. And that's the only time that we can make changes. It's the only time. And then when we don't take action, it creates stress. Funny how it works, right? Action is the solution to all of your problems. You won't be stressed, and it'll help your future. I mean, it's pretty simple. The hard part of taking action, again, is just getting yourself to do it. Getting yourself to do it. You know, you got to have a big goal, and use that power of regret, right? Think about what you want, and go get it. You don't have to have it all figured out. You can do it. Stay strong.